Hey, how is everyone? Um, before I get started, I um, had a guy leave a comment a little while ago on my channel. Um, said, where are your videos at? And I got it in my email. I was like, what are you talking about? And went, there was, all my videos were gone. I was like, whoa, shoot, what the hell happened? And what I was doing was I was working on setting up a couple of playlists, which seems to be the thing to do, and a good idea. I only set up two, new and old. The old is the stuff that I had that I brought over from the old channel, and the new is the stuff that I've done since I've been on this channel. Um, and uh, I accidentally unlisted all of my videos. For a second there, I thought I deleted them. I thought I deleted all the videos. So from I was like, oh, crap. I don't look at this shit again. But, um, so, but I didn't. I just accidentally unlisted them. But I got them all back up and got the, plays, got the uh, playlist in. And then I got the channel stuck on that new format. And that thing sucks. God, I hope I hope YouTube does not make us go to that because that new format for your channel page just it, it just blows big time. I do not like it. It's not friendly. Uh, does not have the information you need on it. I hope they don't force that down our throat. But anyway, anyway, anything's everything's back to normal. In case anybody had seen that was wondering. Um, but this is my contest entry into B Perk 8700 sub giveaway. If you had more than 10 videos, he wanted you to do a video response, unless you could do a comment, or if you didn't make videos. And before I get started on talking about what he wanted us to talk about on it, uh, I'm going to say a few things about Bobby. Bobby is, um, you know, and a lot of people say this about a lot of guys, about a lot of other people, and, hey, he's a good guy, he's a good dude. And Bobby is, Bobby really is. Bobby is one of the nicest people that I've ever met on YouTube and what I mean by that is I have never read a derogatory comment that was made by him I kinda wish I could say that um, I've never read a mean-spirited comment that was not in defense of him or one of his um, YouTube friends or our channel um, he is genuinely a nice guy super nice at least on YouTube and um, he's very he's got a excellent channel and this is a guy that's got 700 a little over 700 subs and a lot of people say you know well so-and-so should have more this guy really should this guy deserves to have 10 times that many and more he has got a fantastic channel um, he is he's got a great sense of humor he jokes around with all of us guys in the, in the gun community he generally gets along with everybody <clears throat> and he puts out videos that are very very useful and very very knowledgeable his gun reviews are some of the best I've seen they're a little bit of a different style than some other people but that's fine so are mine so are, so is everybody else's but he's very <clears throat> he's very knowledgeable in the subjects that he talks about and um, he puts out interesting videos he does cooking videos he does he does uh, cleaning videos he does a lot of different things and uh, he is very very active in the gun community not just on YouTube he is a certified state instructor <clears throat> uh, and he's got uh, some other uh, some other sites that he's got started and that he's working on um, one is ballistic solutions which is pretty much his uh, is going to be his logo and stuff like that when when um, that gets all set up for him and um, but this is a guy, if you're not subbed to this dude, you really need to be. Bobby is just an outstanding guy. And uh, and I'll leave it with that. I've given him shout outs before in the past, and I will many, many times in the future, I'm sure. Now, on to what he wanted us to talk about. What he wanted us to talk about is he wanted us to talk about uh, two things. One, what's your Miami Vice gun, as he said, your backup. And two, what are your plans and how are you going to continue to support the Second Amendment in the coming year? Well, first of all, let's get to the mouse gun. On the backup. This is my backup right now. I lucked out and got this. Didn't have to buy it. This was my this was my wife's. I bought it for her because she wanted a small one, and now she's got that new sexy P238 that she loves, by the way. And so I kind of kind of got this as a hand me down. And so this is now my backup. Um, and it is a 380. 380 is a backup. I don't feel comfortable carrying that as a as a primary. But hey, anything is better than nothing. Um, you know, although and I have been very, very guilty of putting this in this pocket protector, throwing it in my pocket, and running down the store, real quick. 
but at least uh, you have something with it. Um, the one thing that I do have to get is I've got to get an ankle holster for it because the one that I had blows big time. Right. Thought it was going to work. It don't. It's in the trash and actually out. They've already picked it up because I threw that some bitch away. But at any rate, I'll, I'll come up with something for that. But that's my backup. And the other thing on how, uh, what are my plans with the Second Amendment? How to how to continue to defend it? Uh, well, first and foremost, my wife and I are both members of the NRA, the GOA, and the Second Amendment Foundation. We're going to renew. We renew that every year. And for both of us to be members of that is like a hundred dollars. Cost us a hundred bucks a year. Actually, a little less than that, if I'm not mistaken. A little bit less, or right at a hundred dollars a year, I think, for both of us. And so uh, we're going to definitely continue that. And uh, so that's my suggestion: is if nothing else, join the NRA, guys. And I know there's a lot of people. We've heard them before. I'm not really going to entertain that now, and and I'm not going to. I don't want to get into a, a debate on that right now. There's people that do not like the NRA for whatever reason. And I'm certainly not insulting your intelligence when I say this. You have the right to believe whatever you want, but there's nothing you're going to tell me that justifies you not joining the NRA if you believe, if you own guns and you want your Second Amendment rights. Any bad that you may feel the NRA does is so far outweighed by all the good they do, it's not even discussable. Okay? But, you know, everybody has their own opinions. At least look into the GOA and Second Amendment Foundation, if nothing else. And those are fine organizations as well as, our, as as well as there's others out there as well, and I'm sure on your state level too. But the NRA is the engine that drives the train on all of that. That's the bottom line. That's a fact. Without the NRA, you wouldn't have guns right now. There's I, I fully do believe that. So we're going to continue to do that. And um, there's other things that I'm working on that I'm going to try to get a little bit more involved with, on the state level with. Um, and uh, Bobby, one guy I will be talking to in the coming months about that. He doesn't know that yet, and I guess he does now. But uh, but he's very active in the in the gun community outside of YouTube as well. So um, maybe some stuff there that uh, he and I can actually do together. I don't know. Time will tell, and we'll see. But that's uh, that's what it is. So this is my video response to that. Um, hope that gets me in. And um, remember, if you are not a sub of Bobby's, you need to be. And pass the word around, guys. Give this guy shout outs because he's at 700 plus. He ought to be 10 times that. And let's get him there. All right, that's all I got, guys. Um, now, and oh yeah, I almost forgot, guys. Vote. Get to the ballot box this November and vote. Vote these anti gunners out of flipping office. You've got to get these people going that, that cannot stand the fact that you have the right to keep and bear arms. You know, a lot of people like to bring up the fact that, you know, well, every time it goes to the Supreme Court that, uh, you know, it's won and the Second Amendment's won out. Yeah, five to four. We're one vote away from losing that. You think for one second, as soon as it goes five, four in the other direction, that that's not gone? You live in fantasy land. Get to the ballot box and vote these anti-gunners out, guys. Remember, know your candidates, so search your, research your candidates. Find out your pro-gun candidates. Put a chat by their name. That's all I got, guys. Later.